So students, I hope everyone is safe and sound and doing extremely well. This is Baswaraj, I'm your biology teacher. Welcome to Diksha Karnataka students. I know that your examination is just a couple of months away. That's right, you just have two more months for your board examination. But remember that, it is never too late. In this video, from basics, that is, I'll be telling you what is your detailed analysis of your class 10th science syllabus. I'll also be telling you weightage of each and every unit. Not just that, every single chapter from your science, I'll be telling you important must do topics. And finally, I'll also be detailing you the topics along with the questions. What type of questions you can expect? The type of questions, that is competency based questions, MCQ questions, and long and short questions. What is the weightage for each and every type? And also I'll be giving you a few examples of questions which you can expect in your board examination 2024. Let's start the video by a simple, that is, what is science? What is the science which you need to study? What is the bifurcation in science? Students, all of us know that science is broadly divided into your chemistry, physics, and biology. Each and every part is important for you. That is, you need to study chemistry, biology and physics. Each and every part has equal importance. So I'll be telling you the simple syllabus first. What and all chapters which are included in chemistry first. And then I'll be telling you biology. Then we'll focus on physics. So in the case of your chemistry, you have your chemical reactions and equations. This is a new syllabus students. I have included the new syllabus, everything is new. In case of chemistry, then we have acid, base and salts. Then we have metals and non-metals. And finally, the most important chapter that is carbon, its compound. Coming to biology, we have in total of five chapters. That is life process. One of the biggest chapters in your class 10th. That's right, one of the biggest chapters. Then we have control and coordination. How do organisms reproduce heredity chapter? Weightage, students, weightage. The numericals, the questions in biology can come from heredity chapter. Then finally we have the, the cute chapter that we call our environment. Then we have the physics. In physics we have the light chapter that is reflection and refraction, the human eye and the colorful world, electricity and the finally magnetic effects of electric current. This is the basic gist of your class 10th science syllabus. But now let's focus on the marks distribution which I am here to tell you. Each and every unit of your science has certain weightage. If you look at this tabular column right here, the most weightage goes to your none other than the biology. That's right, the most important unit, the most you need to focus on is the biology. If you look at the distribution, mark distribution, the world of living, that is your entire biology has 25 marks along with the five marks here, right? 25 marks here and five marks here, that is natural resources. In natural resources, we have the our environment chapter in total of 30 marks from biology alone. Then we have your chemistry which has 25 marks. Then we have physics that is 12 plus 13 marks. So students, in total of, in total of the 8 out of 80 marks, the 30 marks which I want everyone to focus is biology. Then we have physics as well as chemistry. Remaining the 20 marks is your internal assessment and total of 100 marks. If you want to do really well in your board examination in your science, I want all of you to focus on biology first, followed by chemistry and physics. But please remember, at the end of the day, when you write your examination for your board, each and every unit, that is, it could be chemistry, biology, or physics, everything has almost equal weightage. Remember that. But I will tell you now what you need to study in each and every chapter. That is what is important. For example, in the case of your chemistry, the chemical reactions and equations, all of you need to have the mastery over your chemical reactions, oxidation reduction and corrosion. Coming to your acid base and salts, that is reactions of acids, applications of pH and formation of NaOH, very important concept. Especially this one, reactions of acids and bases. You could have direct questions there. Direct questions will come. Then looking at the metals and non-metals, we have the properties of metals. There could be sonar, right? Malleable, ductile. All that is very important. Then we have reactivity series and extraction of metals. Very important concept. Very important. 
Then we have carbonates compounds, nomenclature, very important. Then chemical properties of carbon compounds and soaps and detergents. That's the chemistry part. Not, but if you look at the biology, especially the biggest chapter of all, that is the life process chapter. That is in the life process chapter, the every single point, that is, it could be nutrition, it could be the respiration, transportation or excretion, equal importance. So students, if you want to understand biology, if you want to really understand and get marks in biology, this is a must read chapter. That is a life process. In control and coordination, I want all of you to focus on the hormones. Students, one question will directly come from the hormones. Directly come. They'll ask you either a gland or the excretion in the hormones. Apart from the hormones, they'll ask you about reflex arc and the human brain. That is midbrain, hindbrain and frontal brain. The function, direct question. And if you look at the how do organs reproduce? In that the modes of uh, sexual reproduction, the types, all the types are very important. Here are one thing I forgot that is movement of plants, that is tropic movements, right? Tropic movements, phototropism, geotropism, hydrotropism, chemotropism. It's a previous equation, very important. And if you look at this here, the reproductive system in humans, it could be male or female, direct diagram based question. Even in the case of plants, direct, they'll give you a bisexual flower. You have to answer questions. And fertilization in humans, that is sex determination, you have to study that. If you look at the heredity part, evolution is obviously gone. The heredity part, monohybrid and dihybrid cross are the only part which you need to focus. The fossils, everything is removed. So students, please remember the each and every concept of monohybrid and dihybrid cross, very, very important. Especially the phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio, important. If you look at the R environment, five marks, a five marks, it's yours. If you know the concepts of your food chain, right, the food chain as well as the energy flow, most important questions. This part, the uh, save the environment, you can write on your own competency based question you can expect here. If you look at the physics students, this is where most students lose marks because all of us know when it comes to physics, you need to remember the formulas. You need to do the maths here, but students don't worry. This is where you need to score marks also. So please, if you're weak in physics, right now is the time where you need to focus on physics. Here in the light chapter, reflection, reflection, direct questions, your di diagrams. Then human eye, that is defects and their corrections, very important. As well as the scattering of light, very important. Magnetic effects, we have the Fleming's rule and Faraday's rule. And I forgot to mention here the electricity chapter, that is Ohm's law, the uh, resistors, that is parallel resistors and everything. So that is very important. These are the most important topics which all of you need to focus because students, this is, all this information is based on your previous year questions. All the previous year questions, came from these concepts. So students, please remember these concepts. But if you look at the question type, so what type of questions can we expect here? Please remember, students do not ignore the MCQs. There are certain techniques to answer the MCQs. So MCQs are very important because 40% weightage is for your multiple choice questions. That's where it decides your marks. All of us know we have the competency based questions, which all of you need a special type of training. You need to solve it. Then finally, we have our regular long and short questions, which constitutes the 40 marks. But students, I told you type of questions, but sir, which type of questions can you come? Sir, can you give us examples? Yes, students. These are the examples which are given here. These are the previous year questions which have been asked in your board examination. For example, this is a question from your 2020. That is direct question from your dietitian, dietitian chart part of your life process. It is digestion absorption, food takes place in which part? All of us know it as your small intestine, direct question. Or it could be your diagram based question in your biology. All of us know the importance of diagrams. For example, in control and coordination, the, the uh, diagram of your neuron has been so many times asked. Very important. But if you look at your chemistry, right? Or physics, direct MCQs, or, or the formulas. In case of your physics, the numericals. Right? Physics, numericals are very, very important. Then if you look at the chemistry, 
if without reactions without reactions there is no chemistry so students i want each and every one of you to not just by heart the reaction understand the reaction how it happens so reactions is the last part which i want all of you to focus in chemistry and lastly is the competency based questions for example you can get a questions like this this is a competency based question right Com competency based questions special training is required but do not worry on this channel we will we are bringing something to you thank you so much students and i'll see you in my next class